You know, when it comes down to sparkling water, most people would say that it tastes like white noise. I kind of like it. Been trying to watch what I drink, eat, making healthier choices. I mean, this is definitely a healthier choice than drinking something like maybe Red Bull or an energy drink. What's going on? Welcome back to another video. How are you doing? It's great to see every single one of you. Since I've started making videos, I've always wanted to do something like this, but never really had much gear. But you know, as time grows on, your collection grows and your arsenal gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And before you know it, you're carrying like 40 pounds on your back, no matter wherever you go. But today we're gonna go over my loadout. What do I carry in my camera bag at the very minimum every time I leave my house? So let's start with the bag itself. This is the Peter McKinnon camera bag by Nomadic. This thing is an absolute tank. When it comes down to traveling, let's say you're going on a road trip or perhaps you're going to be flying somewhere and you're going to be staying somewhere for a couple days. This is the bag for you. Why? Because you could pretty much carry all the camera gear that you need plus a couple sets of clothes for a couple days. So that way you don't have to carry a couple bags when you're going to travel somewhere and everything just fits in one bag. This bag is just an absolute tank. When it comes down to the size of the pack, this thing starts off at 35 liters, but if you unzip it right here, it actually extends the pack out more, so then that way you can fit more essentials like clothes or whatever else you're gonna be taking along with you. Another great feature that I love about this pack is that it comes with two stabilizers right here on the shoulder strap, so then that way, when it comes down to carrying lots of weight in this thing, you can really relieve the stress off your lower back by just pulling these two down, thus shifting the weight up from your lower back, making things so much easier when it comes down to carrying a heavy payload. The gear compartment is actually on the back of the bag, which is nice because when it comes down to worrying if somebody's gonna try to go through your bag while you're out shooting, or perhaps, you know, maybe you're crouched down trying to get a shot and you're worried if someone's gonna walk by and try to unzip it and take the things that are in your bag, it's not gonna happen because, well, all your gear is literally on your back. But enough about the bag, let's talk about what's inside the bag. I'm gonna start this off with the accessory pouch. This is where I keep all the little things that I need to get to really quickly. You know, when you need to take your pack off and then you go to open up the big compartment and then you're just rustling through all your gear and you're just trying to find something small like a pen. That's what stays in here. Those little items, yeah, they stay in here. Speaking of pens, I take a pen with me everywhere I go. Why? Because then when it comes down to signing something or perhaps, you know, someone wants my information and I don't have a card, I can just pull out my pen and just write down what I need to and be on my way. I know, ADD, it's, it's a thing. I also carry a Sharpie. Next thing is a lens pen. These things, I carry at least two of these in every pack that I have. Why? Because I always lose them. Why do I always lose them? Well, I mean, look at it. It's so small, it's compact, you could put it in your pocket. So when you're in the field, you're catching bangers, you're taking photos, you get to a place and it's super dusty, and you're like, ah, I got dust on my lens and I gotta clean it off, but I don't really wanna take off my pack. So you keep this thing in your pocket. It just makes your life easier and things so much quicker. But being that they're so compact, I'll just be, you know, crouched down and they'll fall out of my pocket. And then before I know it, I ain't got a lens pen anymore. So I always carry at least two in every pack because I'm always losing them. Now how these things work, you just pull this top off and then you just push this little thing up here and then boom, you got yourself a brush. So like I was saying earlier, when it comes down to being in the field, you know, your lens gets dusty. Well, when that happens, you just pull this thing out of your pocket, pull out the brush, dust off your lens, put it back in, bam, boom, back in the pocket and you're back to shooting. Or let's say that you need something that's more like a microfiber cloth and you don't really have one with you. Well, you just turn it around, unscrew this top and bam, you got yourself a microfiber tip. And that's why I carry so many of these things because they're such a great little tool to have. Speaking of microfiber cloths, I also carry one of those too. Next thing I have are my headphones. These things are the Bose Sound Sports. I love them so much, oh, so much. If I'm in a coffee shop just hanging out, having a coffee, or maybe I'm walking around town, or I'm out doing errands, or maybe I'm just in the zone taking photos, these things are in my ears blasting music. Probably about, probably about 90% of the time. What can I say? I love music. Next is a little charging cable for the headphones. Being that I wear glasses and they get dusty and dirty as well, well, I also carry lens cleaning wipes. Moving on to the next compartment. When it comes down to traveling, maybe I'm going for a road trip for the day or I'm staying somewhere for a couple days, this is where I keep my clothes. But when it comes down to the day-to-day -day basis, I mainly just keep a hoodie in here in case it gets kind of cold. Also, one thing that I've always learned to carry with me, no matter where I'm going, whether if I'm going somewhere for the day, for a couple days, I mean, obviously I'd bring more of these if it were a couple days, but 
<laughs> if I'm going somewhere, anywhere, I'm taking an extra pair of socks. Why? Because there's nothing worse than getting your feet wet. And almost every time that I leave my house, when it comes down to going to the woods or if I'm going to, going out and taking photos in general, sometimes, if not most of the time, I get my feet wet somehow in some way. I remember one time I went to New York City and I took a bus there because I hate driving in big cities because traffic is always a hassle, it's cluttered, and it's just a nightmare. But I took a bus there and what is the first thing that happened when I stepped off the bus? I stepped into a huge puddle and my feet were soaked all day. It was a total nightmare and it was even in the middle of the winter. It was not a good day. So from there on out, I've learned always carry an extra pair of socks. Mm -hmm. Moving on to these accessory pouches, I always carry a notebook with me everywhere that I go. Why? Because in that way, if I have any ideas or perhaps even notes or to-do lists, I love to carry this thing everywhere that I go because it's always great to be able to just cross something out. It's just something about crossing something out that makes me feel accomplished. Notebook always comes in handy. Now, let's say that you have a day planned out, you're gonna be going out, you're gonna be taking photos all day, you plan on packing up your pack, getting all your gear ready, put it on your pack and take on the entire day on foot. Or perhaps you're going to a photo shoot and that thing's gonna last all day, maybe it's gonna be super hot out, or maybe you're even gonna be going hiking. And of course, when it comes down to going hiking, especially long hikes, like that's gonna be lasting miles after miles, you're gonna not only be carrying camera gear, but you're gonna be carrying gear for hiking as well. Things are gonna get heavy, things are gonna get physical, you're gonna be sweating. And what happens when you've had a long day that entails nothing but being physical, carrying around gear all day, being hot, you sweat, there's nothing you can do. And sometimes when you sweat, it doesn't really smell all that great. So I always pack a thing of deodorant and of course my favorite cologne, Explorer by Mont Blanc. This stuff smells so good, I love it so much. I really wanna find a compact bottle size of this because in that way I don't have to carry this big thing around. But I always do carry these two things just in case I've been out hiking all day or I've been out taking photos. And I decide, you know what, I'm gonna go to a restaurant, get myself a really nice bite to eat and maybe a nice beer, or maybe even go to a coffee shop on my way home. The last thing that I wanna do when it comes down to going to said places after having a long day is to smell. And I mean, it happens. And that's why I always carry these two things. So this is the main compartment. This is where I keep all the camera gear, my camera, lenses, mics, camera accessories, cables, whatever. I keep it in here. What is the gear that I take with me? Well, I'll show you. Nothing. The reason why this has nothing in it is because, well, I needed to make the thumbnail and everything that I laid out on the floor here for me to make the thumbnail. I'm just gonna talk about it as I put it back in the bag. But before I do bring these back into the pack, I just wanna say that the camera that I use Every time I go out, it's my main cam, it's a workhorse of a camera, it's the camera that I'm actually using right now to film is the EOS R, and as well as my main lens, which is the 24-105 f4. Also the main mic that I now use, which is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. They're all currently being used right now as we're filming, so just wanted to get that out there. But anyways, this is my Anchor power supply. This thing is great, I love it so much. I can get like four battery charges off this thing, it's an absolute lifesaver because there's nothing worse than being out in the field or in the middle of the mountains and you need to charge your phone in case something happens or perhaps you have a map or something up on your phone and you don't want it to die. This thing has saved me so many times. Next, I have a USB-C cable by Native Union. This thing is a tank, it's super durable, it's gone through so much wear and tear, and I've had this thing for probably almost a year now and I've never had any problem with it. Love it. This is my passport. No, it's not a passport that you use to travel with, but it's called my passport because it's roughly around the size of a passport. And well, it's by a brand called Western Digital. It's a little drive for storage. I have two terabytes of storage in this thing. Plus it comes with a nifty little case. You know, so then that way when it comes down for like wear and tear purposes, you get it. All of the content that I need to save and back up, this is where it goes. This thing is my little emergency toolkit pouch it's by Maxpedition. I carry a bunch of little everyday carry items, things that I feel that I might need in an emergency. You know, things that would make your life easier, things that you would probably never think that you would ever need. If you want me to do a little video on this thing, let me know. This thing is the Peter McKinnon hard case for housing all of your circular polarizers, ND filters, whatever. This thing you can house up to two, four, six circular polarizers, filters, whatever. And it even has two little elastic pouches that you can 
you know, put step up rings or whatever you want to fit in there. This hefty little hard case box, if you will, is the Peter McKinnon accessories case that you can get for the pack. It's, I know everything is Peter McKinnon. I love keeping things organized and keeping things matching. I know, OCD much? Yeah, maybe a lot. But the things that I keep in here are some extra batteries. This is a nice little case that you can keep your LPE6 batteries in. A little case to house all of your SD cards. LPE6 battery charger, lens cap for the EOS R, an extra microfiber cloth, and as I was saying before, always gotta keep extra lens pens. Yeah. This thing is a power inverter. This thing you hook up to a car, and what's great about this is that you can charge your batteries on the fly. So, let's say that you're out and you're taking photos, you're in the middle of the city or in the middle of nowhere, can't really find a place to plug a battery charger or maybe you don't want to go to a coffee shop and waste time just sitting there and waiting for batteries to charge. You can plug a battery charger into this and then plug this in your car and providing that you have extra batteries still, you can put a battery on this and have this be charging while you're out still taking photos. I love this thing. Next is the Joby 3K Gorillapod. I use this thing to hold my camera while I'm vlogging so you know, I just put my camera here, talk to it whatever and then of course if I'm you know in a pinch and I want to get some long exposure shots what I could do is I can just pretty much just set it up anywhere you know just fix the legs out boom you have a mini tripod I love this thing because the legs are actually metal on this one I've had ones in the past that had plastic legs and over time as there would be wear and tear or maybe even weather conditions these little sockets would crack so then I have to go out and buy a new one because the legs wouldn't stay in place Next I have is a rain cover. What I love about this is it's so small. Look how compact this thing is, watch. <laughs> Done. It takes up almost no room at all. But from a side of how compact this thing is, watch this, you just pull this out. Boom. Let's say that you're on the trail or maybe you're in the city and you're walking around taking photos and it starts to drizzle or maybe even a little bit more than drizzle. What you could do is you could just open up your bag, pull out that little bag, unfold it, which it results in this. And what's great about that little bag is that it is actually connected to the rain cover. And then you put the cover over your bag to help protect your gear from the rain. If you're wondering what rain cover this is, just like the bag itself and the ND filter and the accessory case, all made by Nomadic, keep your gear dry. But that is it for me today, folks. This is my bare minimum loadout that I take with me every time I leave my house, whether if I'm taking photos or I'm not taking photos, because you never know when you're gonna be driving down the road somewhere and you're like, I need to get a shot of that. That is sick. But if you did like today's video, you know what to do. Like, comment if you haven't already, subscribe, and remember, just explore. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.